Hello everybody, this is Blaster Toad here, and um, is my microphone working? It is. The fan noise is probably pretty atrocious though, so we're gonna turn that off. There we go. So yeah, no AC in the house, so it gets bloody hot in here. So in some of my future videos, there may be fans going. Um, yeah. So anywho, what we're doing today is we're answering a question from VinHG... HJ, I guess, um, VIN HJ is asking, about a week ago, uh, what is, basically, what is the player controller? Uh, it comes up a lot, we use it as an interface to talk to the pawn, but what is it actually doing? So we're not going to actually build anything today. Um, instead, we are just going to lay some stuff out. So, we have ourselves a dude and a car, and the dude again. Um, actually, I think this one's just a physics asset, so I could have him like bouncing off the car. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> um, we had fun in the stream making the chicken butt car, which we're going to go with Droid's suggestion for a name. She will now be a streetcar named Desire, so... Desire of the chicken with a butthole car. Awesome. Um, but anywho, what? Oh, and I need music. That's better. Okay. So, what is player controller? What does it do? Well, we're going to open up our blueprint. We're going to go to our player. So I got a player controller here. And really, what the player controller is going to do for you depends vastly on your game. But... If you want to look at an extremely high concept, we've got a car here, we've got a guy here, and both are something the player controller can control. So if you look at the player controller as the actual player, so this is a player's brain or their soul or their ghost, and then it possesses a body. So whether it's possessing our dude or whether it's possessing our car, it's the same player controller. So with that, something you always want to stay with the player. So let's say, um, let's set this up as like a survival game, okay? So our guy is, he's got movement, right? But we are going to let him, um, and we're just going to make comments for this. We're going to let him pick stuff up. So we want an inventory pick up, okay? So he's going to be able to pick stuff up. Uh, then we want him to be able to use stuff. So we will use inventory or interact with objects and stuff like that. So we want him to be able to interact with objects. There we go. So there's the base of our guy outside the movement. Okay. But then for our survival scenario, we are also going to want to have maybe food and water and his health. Well, the problem comes in when he interacts with objects. So he has come over, interact with something like the car. We may be removing the guy altogether. Like that specific actor, that body doesn't exist anymore. And then when he gets out of the car... We're cloning his body and putting him back in it, okay? So that's where keeping your health and all that on your pawn, on the body, can be an issue. So for our survival scenario, we want to, on the player controller, uh, we're just going to comment again. We want to manage health, okay? We want to deal with food, so food and water consumption. And then um, maybe we keep his inventory here. So like we got master inventory. And then, doo -doo -doo -doo, yeah, that, let's call that it, okay? So on the player controller, we're going to manage health and food and water and his inventory when it's actually, after it's been picked up, it all actually goes here, okay? 
because we don't want to lose that when we get rid of the body. And what we want on the controller, again, is stuff that always stays with the player. So, when he inherits the guy body, well, we may want to be able to allow him to run. Okay, so on here we're going to set up our movement. This is where he's going to run, or sprint, or strafe and walk, and all the rest of it is on here because we're controlling that body. Conversely, if we go over to the car, on the car we want to be able to drive and steer and manage fuel, all the standard car stuff. But this is specific to the car. It doesn't have to stay with our player all the time like we want their hunger or their inventory and whatnot. Okay, so hopefully that clears up some of that. The other thing is the player controller exists everywhere. Okay, and what I mean by that is if we get into multiplayer, the player exists on ev the player controller exists on everybody's computer. So it's made on the host, whether that's a server or whether that's the person hosting the game, and then everybody gets a copy of that. So it makes it really easy to do multiplayer stuff with, like telling it to spawn itself a new body, or telling it to move from one body to another, so to move from our guy to move to the car, so we're now controlling the car. That can all be taken care of with the player controller. Yes, it's a very easy way to get the pawn, okay? It's a very easy way to set some basic stats. But it's the spot you'll want to put anything that always has to stay with your player, okay? So hopefully that clears up Vin HJ's question of what exactly the player controller is. And um, yeah, lots of other groups go over this in a kind of broader sense or a, um, a more high level concept. But we're gonna leave it here because I think that gets the main point across. And then as you're playing with it, as you're watching additional tutorial videos, and as you're building things out yourself and expanding your own knowledge, you'll find out all the little nuances. So it really doesn't help to dump it on you right now or for anybody to try to memorize every little bit of it, as long as you keep in mind that the controller is actually your player, so you want anything that always stays with your player or has to go online, usually to be kept with the controller. And then the pawn, so the, the character or the vehicle or whatever else is just a body for that player to jump in and out of. And hopefully that clarifies some things. This is Blaster Toad signing off. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks a ton for watching my videos, VinHJ, and the comments you've been leaving. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to shoot them to me either in a comment like you did this time, or whether you want to hit me up on Discord. Uh, until we hear from you, bye for now, and thanks again for your support.